I got a question from a customer recently about how to make an endless summer style graphic. This was a movie from 1966 about surfing and the poster is really iconic. It was done by an artist named John Van Hammersfeld. Let me talk about him for a second. So he was an art center grad and they did this graphic for the poster um, you know, with old film techniques and it was a screen printed poster. And the good thing now is it's really easy to do a graphic like this with the help of Photoshop. And if you wanna check out John's uh, work, just go to post-future.com and he's got some really, really cool art. A lot of screen printed uh, posters and, and things like that. So if we go into Photoshop, I have a photo here and the best kind of photos that work with this style of design are high contrast where you have a foreground element like these palm trees over a clean background element like a sky or a wall. This might also work if you have like a photo of a car with a white wall behind it or something like that. But if you have kind of a, a flat color background, it's gonna make it a lot easier to sort of separate things out. So. What we want to do is let's go into our channels and that's window channels. And if you click on your red, your green and your blue channels, you'll be able to figure out which is the best channel to use. The one you want to use is the one with the most contrast. So I think the blue channel actually works the best. So let's just go select all then copy and click back on your RGB channel and go command V and that'll paste that grayscale uh, blue channel into your regular layers so we can work with that. And what we wanna do is ideally we can do just like an image adjustments threshold and get a high contrast enough image out of what we've got. And I think that's actually gonna work. So we can just click okay. Now the thing with this image is, you know, you're probably gonna wanna get rid of things like this light pole. So what we could do is just make a selection and then go edit fill or shift F5 and we'll try the content aware tool and we'll see if that gets rid of that pole. Yeah, so that did a good job automatically. So this is ready to go. So what I wanna do now is let's just get this into a new file. So Command A and then Command C to copy it and then let's make a new 4000 by 4000 pixel file. I think 4000 by 4000 is pretty good because it's 13.3 by 13.3 at 300 dots per inch. So it'll be adequate enough for screen printing onto a t-shirt. So let's click Create and I'll just paste it in there so now what we want to do is let's get this black image separate from the background. So we have a transparent background. So all you need to do is command or control click on your RGB channel and that'll select everything that's white and then just go select inverse and we'll hide that existing layer, make a new layer. And if you look at that poster, our main image, the foreground image is, is black. So let's fill that with black. So edit fill, shift F5. And we also need a background color. Let's, uh, let's make a new fill layer. Layer, new fill layer, solid color. Click OK. And actually, I kind of like that. And then we can add, we can do all kinds of different things. It's pretty much unlimited. Let's make a new layer. You know, we could go in here with the lasso tool and just make some kind of freehand style selections. And let's fill it with another color. Let's do like, um, kind of like an orange. So that's already starting to look cool. Let's make another layer. Make, make another freehand selection. And maybe let's fill this with a little bit darker orange. Shift F5. Click OK. 
So that's starting to look pretty good. Um, the other thing is with this image, there's a sun on the horizon. So we could try that. What we could do is make a new layer and just do our elliptical marquee tool. And what we can do is hold down the shift key just to make that perfect circle. And maybe we do it a little offset. We could do it over here and go edit fill. And since this is the sun, let's make it a brighter color. Click OK. And then we could either get rid of that like in the Endless Summer poster, or we could just shift control or command V to paste that into place. And let's just make that color a little bit darker. So image adjustments, hue saturation, let's just darken it a little bit. Maybe give it a little more orange color. So now it looks like the sun kind of has a reflection and click OK. So that's how to make an endless summer style graphic in Photoshop.